Oh, shit. Uh, I got to say, you know, so. Went to, the, went to the goddamn Water Buffalo Brigade. What the fuck is it? What the fuck? Oh, here it is. Okay. Um. Oh, that's one over here. That nigga dipped up so smooth on his man. That's crazy. Yeah, but here's the thing. You you know the science behind that, right? Mom. Nigga, I got warrants, nigga. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, I, I understand, but damn, like fuck you, like like hey. man, fuck you, man. Like, like when they, listen, if if they had gotten pulled over and this dude had a gun in the car and he just put the shit and like threw the shit in the back seat while they was fleeing the police. And the cops come, pull them out the car, search the car, and find the gun. And be like, whose gun is this? That nigga ain't going to say nothing. They both just going to go to jail. Yeah. And it, and Unless if the other some man say, man, that ain't my gun, the other one whose gun it was going to go back and be like, he snitched on me. Yeah. It's the, 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 the rules, the, the character of Sun Men. It's just different, man. Like, yo, you'll let somebody take a gun charge for yo, you. Yo, I never like I under, I know it's like no this like no snitching, like absolutism shit, but at what point is it like, yo, I'm not gonna let my my man take a take a charge for me that he clearly did not do. No, nah, they got like it's like uh, sons are like pirates. They have like pirate DNA. It's just like all at like take everything you can get and give nothing back. It's just entirely about really? them. Okay. Lie, cheat, steal, win, game theory, like maximization. Just basically fuck everyone else. Yeah, fuck everything. But as it's it still bothers me that the, in that situation, if the if if it was the other son man's gun and he snitched. Like they would, he would be looked down on in his community oh, for, yeah. not, for not being willing to. He would be a, a bid. Right. He would be a pariah. The guy who allowed someone else to go down for his gun would, no one would mention. Like that would never, no, you would never hear a person say, Man, that's fucked up. You made that nigga try to take your gun. Never, <laughs> not once. No one would say that, and and, no even, and it wouldn't even and and this it wouldn't even had to get that deep with it. They wouldn't even try to like impute his character. Like, bro, no. what type of nigga are you? Like, it wouldn't even get that deep. Would just yeah. be like, he's a normal type. Like, it's self justified. Yeah, like every just, everyone hearing the story would have done the same thing. So it's just it's just the same. Yeah. So, so the fact that he's leaving his homeboy there battered and bruised like that, and possibly he might die. Who knows? But is 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 not as like it's not shocking at all. To yeah, me. no. It's well, just... well, apparently it is to this uh, girl in the interview. <laughs> yeah, because this never happens. Apparently, I tell you though, he he does change his motion. <laughs> Call anyone, call. If I was just glad that shit, I'd be terrified. You got yeah, he sniffed around for a moment. There. There. Yeah, he was thinking something happened. He was, he was on the scent. He was on the scent. He was thinking, do I kill this fucking white bitch? Yeah. <laughs> for like a split second. Do I kill this fucking bitch? Yeah, because he started like kind of motioning in her direction. But then he, yeah, was, nah. tell you, he thought about it for a quick yeah. second. Like, fuck it. I'm yeah, he it. went into prey mode for like a quick moment. He went yeah. into prey mode. He may, he, might have been, he may have been thinking of the son, though. Maybe maybe there's like one of his great, yeah. great, great grandfathers is white. And there was like, maybe he's got like a saltine in the coal pile. He, he, and, now, uh, he was just confused. He was wrapped up. Like, he didn't know who the fuck else that person was. So he's like, yo, what do I do? And then he figured it out. And he's like, all right, cool, bet. And then he got the fuck out of there. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's a success, basically. One less body count, right? It could have been two, only one. Or um, Now, this dude will do okay, but his legs will probably fucked up. <laughs> like, this is a success story for the son. For the son and the surrounding community, like, this is... Probably as good as we can get it, you know. Just yeah, a, this was the know, best scenario. The car, everyone else survives and goes home. Yeah, pretty much. 
this it was gonna get. Yeah, I mean, listen, man. The people in the van were taken to the hospital because there were people in that van they crashed into. Oh shit! Yeah, there were people. Damn. In that van. Oh, never. Damn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there were people true. in that van, man. Um, Man. <laughs> there were people in that van. Um, but, um, yeah, I think so. I agree with you, man. Like, all things considered, the gliders helped out. The gliders um, did what they had to do. Everybody did. Yeah. It was a test. Everyone played like, their role. <laughs> yeah, Everyone exactly. played their role. You know, like at the end of a play where there's the curtain call, that's what happened here. Everyone took a nice bow. Yeah. yeah. I feel Nobody. like it'd be like they could definitely like like just based on this video, like if, if, if a white woman of a white woman could live among black people, it would it would help the situation because she'd be like the, the Karen that just runs out and gets nine one one every yeah. time. And uh, it would certainly uh increase their chances of living. Yeah, it was man. just like pure instinct, like yo, what's going? Like it's time to help. She went in instant help mode. Like, damn, niggas would have been looking like, oh, well, what the fuck? Then they would have seen the sun man coming out. Like, oh hell no, this nigga might be. I don't know what's going on. We would have yeah. had to. We would have had. We would have been way more observant before we react to it. <laughs> Like, yo, yeah. this might be one of the ops. One of my mans might be, like, this might be that nigga my mans don't like, some shit like that. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Um, It would have, like, like this this story in Philly. Let me show you. Let me show you how, how, it, could, how it could go down. This is, this is, shout out to Philly, man. Uh, hold on, let me put, put, um, this, this let me show you how this, this, it usually goes down. Um, in the hood, similar cases. Okay, so similar story, um, similar situation, but no gliders around, right? So this is just a complete um, sun. This is situation, a, a, a sun situation. Um, that showed all the DNA of all every last. Hold on, camera. Police have identified a suspect, but tonight oh. police are hoping them make an arrest. Here is Rick William. Crash led to a fatal shooting in Philadelphia's Logan section. The whole thing was caught on camera, and police have identified a suspect. But tonight, police are hoping you can help them make an arrest. Here is Rick Williams with tonight's Crime Fighters report. Brian heard the second's parents say their son was an aspiring carpenter who was involved with his community. He was a police, police cadet. cadet. He was a fire cadet. He was um, basketball. Yeah, he, played he was one of the good ones. Up of teams. And basically just an all out, you know, normal 19 year old teenager. They say they can't understand what happened to him on Tuesday, April 20th, outside of their house along the 1200 block of Wagner Avenue in Philadelphia's oh, Logan. Oh, they say at 1 p.m. when Bryant pulled onto their street, his car was struck by another speeding car. So Police have him. this surveillance video. You see him, he's just pulling, he's, he's turning into the street to make a left Avenue. turn. In Philadelphia, and another Logan car side. comes they by say speeding it, 100 miles. This car was going 100 miles. Away. 1 p.m. when Bryant pulled onto their street, his car was struck by another speeding car. Police have this surveillance video as part of their investigation. That accident happened directly in front of the guy who caused the accident's house. So his brother was out there when it happened. That brother has been identified as the suspect oh, in this case. What the fuck? So Yo, what he, is he that? Out there, he was out there working on a car. And he saw his brother come flying down the street 100 miles per hour and clip that car, that guy's car. So he in the car flipped. So when 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 when, when um when his brother comes down 100 miles per hour, and clips um, our, 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 our victim's car, his car flips. Damn, that's how fast. His brother going. saw his car flip, and the dude in the, in the initial car that got clipped, he gets out to check on him. Okay? He, get, he stops because, you know, it's an accident. He stops the, the, the cadet, whatever, the, the police cadet, 
fire cadet, basketball player. He gets out to check to see if the guy's all right. And he didn't know his brother was right there working on a car on the block and saw it. Wagner Avenue in Philadelphia's Logan section. They say at 1 p.m. when Bryant pulled onto their street, his car was struck by another speeding car. Police have this surveillance video as part of their investigation. That car flipped. That flipped. accident happened directly in front of the guy who caused the accident's house. So his brother was out there when it happened. Oh, that brother damn. has been identified as the suspect in this case, 22-year-old Terrence Fleming Jr. It was after the auto accident that the offender ran over to the decedent's vehicle, shot him multiple times, executed and killed our victim. No questions asked. Executed that guy. So the guy gets out the car to see if the other guy's all right, and this guy just runs up and executes him. And then right. he ran over to his brother's car and tried to help his brother. Exactly. Oh. And so this, this interaction right here explains the behavior of why they have the pirate mentality. Because the ones that yeah. don't, that act as good yeah. good faith Samaritans, get fucking executed. He Damn. got, I mean, he, he emptied the clip. They're not showing you, though. He, after he shot him and the guy fell down, he emptied the entire clip in his face. So you're working on a car. You see your brother come down the street 100 miles per hour because they already they said the car was going 100 miles per hour in the other story. Boom. <sighs> his car flips. The guy who he clipped, who was just <laughs> trying to make a left just turn. Just living, just trying to exist. Gets out of his car to see what, to check on him, and you just run down there and shoot him down, stand over him, empty the clip in his face, and then run over to the car and, and help your brother. Bro, bro. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're literally awful. Like, they're literally fucking yeah. awful, dude. It it like he emptied the whole clip in that guy's face. He didn't just shoot but the no guy. Course. He emptied the entire clip in his face face like the red the, the original video I, I can't find it but i did the video on um on my channel but i can't find the original clip um of the of the, of the video the people who saw that on their door cam because it was, was like the they were just like what the fuck? like they were sons and they were even like yo what the fuck like like what because yeah, the, guy the glider was, mind can't understand you can this. see the guy working on the car he's like he's like the hood's up um and he's doing something with the engine and then the accident happens and he makes an about face runs towards the scene pulls out a gun shoots the guy down stands over him shoots him like however many more i don't know how many in the gun like 16 or whatever empties the other 15 in his face, then runs over to his brother's car that's flipped upside down and helps and tries to help him get out of the car. He just went Not, like we we've talked about this before. <laughs> it's like a fucking gland like response issue, like some mechanism going on there where like they just respond to stimuli like completely irrationally. Yeah, it's, it's something. It's something in the gene, bro. We gotta study this shit. Like it just, it can't be comprehended by the white mind. It's like a fucking, like a, a mystery. Yeah, this is unexplainable. This shit makes no sense, bro. Yeah, there's and, no, and... it's no rational <laughs> way to explain this shit, bro. It's just... Like the gliders like discover relativity to... before they discover this and understand this mindset. Yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, you guys are because the if you, I, I wish I had the whole video so you could see. Like, it wasn't like he turned around, saw what was going on, <laughs> went to his brother, and you know, it, it was just he literally instantly turned around, ran towards this this the corner, saw the dude getting out of his car, trying to, like, see what was going on, and just instantly pulled out a gun. I mean, and then emptied the clip in his face. That was the this first time he saw that guy. 
<laughs> it was a, it was a, it was instinctual, bro. It was yeah. like, that was the part that got me shooting them. I can understand because I mean, just sudden baboon shit. But then to empty the entire clip in his face while he's lying on the ground, we like that shit's just in, it's just like <laughs> it's a it's a gland issue. It's it's a fucking like brain response of some sort. It's yeah. some fucking like pre like pre pre human DNA fucking like artifact just like lurking around there and, and just it's, like it just doesn't make any sense. It's something in our gene from like our ancient forefathers, bro. It's just mm-hmm. Like all I can think of it, like did he somehow again like interpret the guy getting out of the car as the ops somehow? Like that's all I can right, think of was... rationally here. But here's the thing: it wasn't like it was a situation between the two people. The dude was flying down the street 100 miles per hour and clipped. He didn't even smash into this guy's car. He clipped his car and flipped. Yeah. No, no, it what I'm saying is like completely his brother's fault. It was no, no, what thousand percent his brother's fault. No, but maybe like maybe in this executioner son's mind, maybe he has so many fucking ops that in like the, the just the chaos of the situation when the guy got out of the car, maybe he like mistook him for some other crazy fucking son ops and then just no, killed he, him. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, though, like. He it wasn't like. It was a random event. It was like any car could have been there. And like whoever was there was going to get clipped. You know what I'm saying? By that car. Yeah, I hear you. It wasn't like it wasn't like a car show or nothing like that, you know. Yeah. Or, you know, or, I'm just yeah. playing like devil's advocate here. I'm trying to give him an out. <laughs> like, yeah, no, we know it's just fucking DNA, basically. We know that. But I, I'm trying to give him like an out, like a like a devil's advocate. Maybe, maybe he mistook him for someone else. He's like, oh shit, this is my ops, but nah, it's just like yeah, I'm trying to, yeah I'm trying it's to, just that fucking I'm a, DNA. I'm a son and I'm trying to like <laughs> Dive into the to the to the depths of the of a prehistoric being mind, bro. Because this is prehistoric proto human, just straight like death instinct, bro. Just it's like kill a, anything around. It's fundamentally like like an apish type of behavior. It just doesn't like it just it's just not even human. Warlock yeah. involved with his community. Yeah. He was a police cadet. He was a fire cadet. He was um wrong basketball. Play, wrong time. Yeah, he played basketball. Just um, in the wrong fucking place. A couple of teams. And basically just an all-out, you know, normal 19-year-old teenager. They say they can't understand what happened to him on Tuesday, April 20th, outside of their house along the 1200 block of Wagner Avenue in Philadelphia's Logan section. They say at 1 p.m. when Bryant pulled onto their street, his car was struck by another speeding car. Police have this surveillance video as part of their investigation. That accident happened directly in front of the guy who caused the accident's house. So his brother was out there when it happened. That brother has been identified as the suspect in this case, 22-year-old Terrence Fleming Jr. It was after the auto accident that the offender ran over to the decedent's vehicle, shot him multiple times, and killed our victim. No questions asked, um, nothing. Just shot him. Bryant was pronounced dead at the hospital. The herd say Fleming and his family left the area that same day. And his family just packed up and left the house that day. Brian's father says something else bothers him about the suspect. <laughs> just all out animal. normal 19 year old teenager. They say they can't. You're just all out. You're just no. all out. I mean, every step of the way, the behavior is just. The pattern emerges. It's like. It's like really predictable. Like the equation is just kind of solved. And you can just. It's just like plug and chug. Like you need to find Y, put in X, and then you get the result. It's like. Fucking simple as shit. And and then Big Mama st- it, like instantly went into accessory mode. accessory mode. <laughs> yeah, mother goose mode. She like put all the, the chicklings under her, her fucking arm and then just flew away to across the country or whatever. She's like, all right, fuck it. Oh, we gotta leave now. The, 
Bro, these sun women, bro, is one thing I give yeah. them, bro. They some ride and die too. Yeah, ride. Right. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Dude, I'm saying the, the sun women evil. are a problem. Yeah, man. But you see it, like you see it in every every phase of yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. bro. That's how my mom bro, my mom loves sun, bro. Sun men, bro. See, bro, it's the it's it's all of them, bro. Yeah, it's all it's of them, bro. Crazy. Like, like and this guy's a realtor he's a he's a he's a big time realtor in um philadelphia this guy is the, the, the dad and um it's just it's just i mean the randomness of it like yo this is just like the only way this happens is by him just like this like it's you do like you get clipped by a son, man. I'm sure he didn't see the brother. Oh, no way. Or even know the brother like existed. You're just you're taking a right and boom. And it's some clips you and you're like, oh shit. Get out to check on him. And then somebody's running at you out your peripheral. You turn around, <laughs> bam! <laughs> <laughs> It's like, yo, the way he, like, his last moments were like, what the fuck? This car's going fast as shit. Let me stop. Oh, shit. Fucking cut my shit. Oh, shit. He flipped. Oh, let me get out. Oh, shit. Ah, boom, boom, boom. Like, it's like, yo, the last 10 seconds of his life was crazy. Like, he broke, he broke the golden rule. And the golden rule is... You can't act in good faith with other sun people because they're not going to return it. So it just yes. like from a game theory perspective, you have to be a pirate to win. Yeah, you well, can't, bro. They force you. Oh my fault. Uh, time out. Let me let me just push back on that. The guy who shot him is not part of the equation. He he like it's not like the guy who was in the car who hit him shot him. What you're saying would only be valid if the guy who was in in the car had shot him. Some other guy who was on the street doing something else True. ran up and instantly executed him. Not like just shot him, but killed him him yeah no no i get what you're yeah basically <laughs> what you're saying is like this executioner's son like he could have he may as well have been like a lightning bolt like it was clearly yeah, just random. yeah I, get, I get what you're saying yeah i see what you're saying uh i hope that father realtor didn't sell the flemings that house how <laughs> <laughs> fucked up would that be i'm telling you man um whew. yo man like i mean like it, it that that story right there that's like a Philly story right there. That's like literally, um, it just shows That's you the mindset. You know what I'm saying? It's a classic. It's a classic for sure. Yeah, it's just yeah. a, it's just another day up uh, north. And that's what oh. I thought. Oh, oh, that's North Philly. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, they try to. It's Logan. Nope. The, them Logan niggas try to act like it's not north, but it's it's Upper North Philadelphia. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's why when I first saw this other video and I saw that sun man get out and pause for a second when I, at that white lady, it gave me like flashbacks. And I was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, she don't know how lucky she was, man. Like, because when he yeah, gets was... out of that car, let me see, where is he at? Like right here? Like, okay, hold on. Let me see. Like right here. She's running towards the act. Call him one call. Like right here. Like, like when he's right here. Bro, you, I, was, I was I was like, oh shit, what's gonna happen? I was yeah, I thought he had a, yeah, I thought he had a gun because it looks like his hands oh, he are definitely has way. a gun. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's why he's fine. <laughs> Yo, these dudes got a gun, all right, man. And one call. And then he runs back, like right there. He runs towards her. And then he yeah, like, he like does right. a crossover. Like, what the fuck is he doing there? It's like a like the, I think he the, sees the camera. He sees the camera because this is that's this why is he like didn't do it. News. 
<laughs> right. Camera saved the lady. <laughs> and it's like, yo. And then look at his pants. Like, he doesn't pull his pants up. He doesn't, like, pull his shits up so he can run. He runs with his pants still like this. That's what he's most comfortable with his ass <laughs> up. <laughs> I think he pulls it's not like, like one with, one with, one with his ass gives him like a, a five a, a plus five to his speed or some shit. Yeah, but you would think like okay, like look what just happened. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just weird. He just he he still he runs down the street with his pants still like this, holding them up. Like with his freedom on the line, he still run, would rather hold his pants up, but you know what I'm saying, and run off into the night. Look at him. Look at him. He's still holding his pants. <laughs> He's still got a peacock, no matter what. My man ass is like full <laughs> full display. Yo, man, it's 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 unbelievable. Like, listen, man, it it just doesn't like. I mean, you just can't make this shit up, man. You see the whole outline of this nigga's cheeks, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> That's some thing, man. It's, it's disturbing. Yeah, man, like, and this is like a, a blight on the on the community, man. You just got this sun man running around with his ass out, like, just even if he, even if the car should never happen, like, you just don't want these people in your community, bro. No, man. I'll tell you, at least a lot of them have clear visual signs, you know, kind of like how wasp and other bugs have like yellow and black. Let you know that they're dangerous. You know, at least they keep the pants down. It's like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> when, with that when, one. Sun, when the sun man walk past you, you see his ass, you're like, all right. That's one, <laughs> yeah. the, that's one of the groids right there. Yeah, man. It's just it's just insane, man. Listen, man. This shit, this 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 these this behavior, man, it's like wow, man. It the the consistency of it. You know what I'm saying? The consistency. It's amazing. <laughs> it's like, it's like, yo, he left his hobby and no one's surprised. No Sad one's bro. like, I can't believe he did that. Like, no, of course he left his boy right there. It happened to one of my students. My students died just like that this year. Same way. Car crash right in North. Ran mm. off. Oh, shit. It's just, wow, man. Unbelievable. 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 It's, it's no hope, bro. I, I don't, I'm not even on some doomer shit, bro. It's just genetics, bro. That's like hoping like a, a, a WNBA player could like make it to the NBA, bro. This is not going to happen. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm just I, like the instant because I try to help people, right? Like I, I like try to help people. You know what I'm saying? And I gotta help myself too. Like I, I'm, I'm talking to myself a lot of times too. But like some of these things. You can't, like, because that glider woman, her instinct tells her to run to the scene. And you can't turn that off. And his instincts are just, like, ah, get away, whatever, I don't, you know what I'm saying, whatever, do it. Like, it's. Whatever's going to help me in the immediate future. Yeah, or whatever I think is going to help me. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. She runs over there immediately. Like, think about that car could have blown up. She could have ran over there and the car could have exploded and she could have died instantly. But her DNA 
says her DNA. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like it's everybody's DNA at play. Call nine one. Call. So you got the two sons standing back and the two glad women up. Yeah, the, those sons are like waddling to the car. <laughs> Damn, man. I just mean, fucking DNA. back and forth, like just little, like little fucking tags. Like, just fuck, man. They're awful. DNA expressing itself. Like, it just, it expresses itself, man. And it just is what it is. You can't change it, man. And the, like, listen, man, don't be mad. Like, th my thing is about, is about DNA. I don't get mad because, like, I I I, I want to tell this Glad woman, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what in God's green? You got one life, and you're potentially risking it in an instant. Like, this happened in an instant. This wasn't like some sun man. She'd been helping. Like, she's she'd been doing community service at the rec center, and Tyrone had take she taken a liking to Tyrone. You know what I'm saying? And had been working with him for years. Like this was just boom, and she's flies. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so you gotta like. Perfect. You can't. You just kind of have like have to have like uh, as a glider man, you have to have like a stewardship over the glider woman to separate from the sons, or else oh, yeah, you're gonna see like shit like this happening. I think a glider man definitely runs over and does the same. Thing. It's DNA, man. You think I'm fucking not? Nah, that's for oh, sure. Oh yeah, not you, but I'm talking about like. Yeah, I think I think glider? most yeah, gliders yeah. do the same, man or or woman. No, about a duck. Glider would have came with a tie to tourniquet on his fucking legs. Would have ripped his shirt off, man. Bit it. What? He would have fucking made some sort of knot you never heard of for this specific <laughs> incident, like. I've been training for something like this. And yeah, yeah, I hear you. Actually, you know, actually, I probably would have gone too, but then, like, the moment I see that fucking nappy hair, I would have stopped. Like, the moment the door opens and I see that hair, I'm like, oh, fuck that. Like, as soon as you see the they were piece. white, I would have went and helped for sure. Yeah, if they were white, I would have. <laughs> oh, shit. Mom. Once so I see that nappy here, I'd be running too. I'd be ahead of the dude with his pants Call on. Call anyone, yeah. come. Oh, I see now. There were there are people in this car because these people went to the hospital. So he probably was about to bust their ass instead of the white lady, maybe. Because when he comes around here, he sees these people in here and they start getting out. He was probably like, yo, he probably was ready to just flay there if they would have said, if they would have been like, hey, man, what the fuck? He probably would have just flamed hey, there. See, up it on the <laughs> Look at him. See, they open up, right? You see, they open up as he's coming out past. As he's coming around the car, they open up the door. See? And then. Call 911, call. And then they getting out. That's, his, that's the person's head from inside the car right there. Oh, and then you can see him right there. So he was about to get flam basted. <laughs> yeah. Like Just all of the ingredients, out. all the ingredients for like a fucking shooting here were in the mix, and it was like narrowly avoided. So it's like a success, basically. Well, the interview was about a shooting. So this lady was being interviewed about a shooting that happened right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So like it was already shooting. Around. Already a shooting, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Sh shout outs to Andy No for putting blackmail in there, just keeping it a hundred. Yeah, bro, that's you had. Don't, yeah, 
Don't think that doesn't that's innocuous, bro. You, we need that, bro. Yeah, Black yeah, we, mill, bro. Make it. We can do that cool, now with bro. Musk, I guess. We can. We got a little bit. We got an inch more, basically, with Elon Musk. Oh, now you can write blackmail. Yeah, yeah, and 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 listen, man, listen. We all know that it was a black man. Oh yeah. But yeah, but still being able to say it is a flex. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. We know we knew it was a black man. But god damn, man. Um let me get out of here, man. Same black time, same black channel. Um out of here. Peace out. Peace.